in this lesson we will learn how to use or create json files with node.js so in the earlier videos we had learned how to do the different file operations like read write append access stat etc but the file was a normal text file here the file st stores a json object and that is what we will need to do so there are two functions that json provides one for converting a string to a json so which is json.parse so if we give the string as parameter it will return the json object and the other is for converting a json to a string so json.stringify give it the json object and it will return the string so while it reading from the file we will get the contents as a string and then convert it into a json using json.parse and while writing a json to the file we will use json.stringify to convert the json to a string and write to a file so let's do an exercise and see how do we use it define three functions write the json data to a file take inputs and append data to json file and read and display the contents of a json file take the option of which function to execute from the user note use the callback approach so here we have been given this data so this is course data is a json it has a field course which is a string and then it has the array of students we are using read line to take inputs from the user so we were we have used them in the earlier videos for files and if you have not seen them the link is in the description i would strongly recommend just have a look at them before you start doing this so the first thing we need to do is we will define say a function write course data or let's call it say write json and what will it do it will just write this json to this file name so we can just say fs dot write file what do we need to do file name and we will need to give it the data so let str is equal to json dot stringify and which object course data so now we have gotten it as a string so we can write the str from a function r if r console dot log r. so this will write this json onto this file data dot json next we want to take inputs from the user and append to it so we will take a name and age as input and then append it to the students here so how will we do that let's do that so function append json what will it take it will need to take inputs from the user so let's say let name is equal to read line that's our import dot question enter name of student let age is equal to read line dot question enter age of student once we have done that we can just write it to it so we can now create a json let new student equal to name is name and age is age we could have also said name comma age because they are the same variables but we are doing it now what do we need to do we will need to read this file and then append it to it so let's now read the file first let or how will we read it fs dot read file f name comma utf age so we are reading it as a string function 
error comma let's say call it data if error console dot log error else so now this data is a string we will need to create it to a json so let obj equal to json dot parse and we parse the data once we have gotten the data once we have gotten the json object we can just say obj dot it's students dot push new student so our object has now gotten updated and once our object has gotten updated we will now write this file so to append it what we will need to do we will just need to update it we can't write it at the end of it it will not make sense so we can just now say fs dot write file fs dot write file what do we need to write we will need to convert obj into a data again so let data one is equal to json dot stringify obj now that's the object that's the data we want to write so f name comma data one comma what do we need to do function f if f console dot log f. else we can just say console dot log data updated so we used a write here instead of an append because we can't just put the text in the end it's a json we will need that json format and whatever changes happen there so we are using a write file in this case so now we have used an append json or let's instead of calling it up append because it will be let's call it update json or we could also call it so that we are not confused enroll new student so it's neither update nor uh, right we are calling an enroll new student and as part of that logic we have done a write file next what do we need to do we need to define a function to read and display the contents so read what did we call it write json let's call it say read json fs dot read file f name comma utf8 comma function error comma data goes to if error console dot log error else else what do we need to do this data is as a string we will need to convert it into a json to display it as a json so let obj is equal to json dot parse data and we can just say console dot log obj so this is a read file now that we have defined our three files three functions let's define our let option is equal to read line dot question enter option one is write two is enroll new student three is read so these are our options we can now use a switch on option switch option case if it is one then what do we need to do if it is one we will write so which is write json so we call write json and then we use a break if it is case two then what do we do we do enroll new student and a break and if it is case 3 we do read what's the name of the function read json 
and then we do the break. So this should now work for us. So we will call these functions depending upon the end option entered by the user. Let's test it. So initially let's write the file. So we have written the file. Now let's read it. So let's put in option three. So we can see we have gotten all the details. Now let's append. Let's put an option to name of student is say Bob. Age is say 29. Let's put a colon there. Next time it will be better. 29. So data has been updated. Let's read again. And we can see now Bob is 29. Let's also see if we put it and read the file just as a data file, not converting it before that. If I just put a console.log as string and we display the data. So we will understand how it looks like. Let's test it. So why are we doing it here? We should have not done it here. We will do it while we are reading the file. So now if we read it as string, it looks like this as a JSON, it looks like this. So if we had appended, say this string at the end of it, it would not have worked. So which is why we have used a write file here. So this is the way we have solved this exercise.